Linda Marie Cologne, your host for Making It Artisan Stories. And I'm here today with Maggie Cosera Vitelli, yes, former educator, seamstress since you were wee small, right, and Wallingford resident. Correct. And I'm here with these adorable teddy bears mm -hmm. that are all part of your handiwork. Correct. With a special story for each and every one. So let's start off with why I do these. Everything is from the heart. And that was what happened to my son in terms of a clot going through his heart. Six years ago, I lost my son. A, a way to memorialize him. Correct. You created a teddy bear. So Correct. that was the launch of Mumu's Memory Bears. Mumu's Memory Bears. Tell me a little bit about the foundation that this supports. The foundation that we have in terms of my son called for a probable cause. In memory of him, at the end of the year, I figure what I, you know, made and send a check to Stop the Clot or National Blood Clot Alliance. They do education to make people aware of blood clots, uh, deep vein thrombosis, um, how can you get them, how to prevent them, just mm -hmm. to make everyone aware because they seem to be more and more nowadays. Like, Not everyone makes it through. I was lucky with my daughter. They also have my flyers and cards. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to um, promote some other business. This whole sewing adventure has been a therapy mm -hmm. for me to... One, it keeps me busy. Mm -hmm. Two, um, I love meeting the people that I interact with who would like to have a pillow or a bear maid or any kind of animal. Tell me about this guy. That's Robbie Bear after my son. I had never made anything to represent him mm -hmm. until I went to the visiting nurses to do a demonstration with a best friend of mine. Mm -hmm. Those are his fleece pajamas. He got some extra patting on his hands, the shirt that when he was little. The detail is tremendous. Thank you. And the really? tie is a tie that he wore. So I just like oh, my goodness. put it this down. It's really special. So he sits in the rocking chair in my it. home. Yes. Oh, he's in a rocking chair. Yep. Yes. He gets lots of attention from guests. He travels from fair to fair and has his own special chair to sit in. Of with course. the story that gets explained. What a beautiful tribute and a very Thank generous you. one. Thank you. Each bear has its own direction. Mm -hmm. So they don't necessarily have to represent the loss of a loved one. You no. can have family members, pets, etc. Right. that are alive and well. They yep. just take their favorite blankie. They mm -hmm. might have grown out of a onesie. And you use that material and you upcycle it. Correct. Which is great. So you have a sustainable right. green business yes which we love you create any kind of stuffed animal so it's yeah. a bear it could be a bunny and love the elephant so what's the time frame so if someone were mm -hmm. to place an order it's two weeks it so that's good. definitely keeping you vibrant and you're busy <laughs> yes and you're using it also i would think as it's comforting to you it is it's a way of therapy it is I very much so sounds yes. therapeutic yep it is and you're making a lot of people happy so oh it's not great only Right. Us Wallingford local boars who see you at festivals throughout the state. Mm -hmm. uh, but we can find you on Facebook. Yes. At Moo Moo's Bears. Memory Bears. Hey, well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. Maggie Cosera by Telly. Thank you and very much. And all your bears and your elephants and pillows and everything that uh, really is just a, a lasting tribute. Wherever I go, it's Moo Moo. And um, her memory bears. And her memory bears. And my email is magazenkv at gmail.com.